Hello viewers, welcome again and in this video I am going to explain about the relation between LCM and HCF and this is very useful in solving your problems. The question may ask like this, he will give a two numbers for example the two numbers n1 equal to 3 and n2 equal to 4 and he will give LCM of them as 12 then you have to find HCF. He will ask what is the HCF if the two numbers are given and if the LCM of them is given. So to find that you can mm, use this formula that is for a given set of numbers that is n1 and n2 product of them that is n1 in n2 is equal to the product of the LCM of the two numbers and the HCF of the two numbers. So from this you can write 3 into 4 equal to product of them equal to product of the LCM of the two numbers and let the HCF be x then from this you can say that a HCF of two numbers is equal to 1 and uh, you can verify that for two given numbers the HCF is take the difference of them 1 and you can see that 1 is, uh, 3 is divisible by 1 and 4 is divisible by 1 uh, so you can say that 1 is the HCF of 3 and 4 or simply you can say that these two are co-prime numbers so the LCM or uh, sorry the HCF of the co-prime numbers is always equal to 1 so in this way this formula is verified and you can follow this formula that is for any two given numbers n1 and n2 product of them is equal to the product of their LCM and HCF so you can notice one thing from this that LCM is always divisible by HCF this is an important point or important condition you can say uh, for the same set of numbers only the LCM is divisible by HCF so you might think that why I am stressing this point as important so in order not to multiply for example 12 into 24 is there it will take somewhat time to multiply 12 into 24 instead of doing that you can simply verify that uh, from the given set of four options for every question in the gate or some competitive exams there will there will be options present so from that you can easily eliminate the options by following this rule that is the LCM is always divisible by HCF so then you go cross check the options that you verify whether the HCF or the option is divisible by LCM or not or the option if LCM whether it is divisible by HCF or not so in this way you can eliminate uh, some options and you can easily uh, conclude the sum or is easily you can tick the answer so let me take uh, one more example that is uh, for 12 and 24 so if you multiply 12 and 24 Mm, as I already told the LCM is uh, 24 we discussed in the previous video for 12 and 24 we had computed uh, in different methods so let me multiply these two that is this can be written as 20 plus 4 so 12 times of 20 is 240 plus 12 fourths of 48 that is 288 so 288 equal to 24 into let the HCF be X so you can uh, simply do that uh, it will be again 12 so you can say that HCF of these two numbers is 12 I think uh, I basically multiplied these two I can simply write this as 24 into x so 24 gets cancelled so the HCF of these two numbers is 12 so in this way by using this formula simply you can calculate uh, HCF or LCM when the set of two numbers are given and one of the both that is either LCM or HCF of the numbers is given so that's all for this video and uh, by this video we covered the basic concepts that are helpful in the aptitude to go on with the other videos that is finding an LCM and what are the divisibility rules so other in a case to check whether the number is divisible by something then we are uh, we have to use the divisibility rules and finding the LCM, HCF and relation between them and the easier ways to find them so with this we concluded the first important part of the aptitude and next we are going to start with time and distance hope you guys enjoyed this video a lot and thank you for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more videos